Oi, oi, Punch's turn is upon us. It's the third and final. I mean, I know there's fair outs in between, but the third and final big festival for the season for me. Cheltenham, Aintree, Punch's Town. We've been doing all right for the other two. Um, I'm feeling relatively confident on day one as well, especially about the first election I'm going to put up. There are three bets that I will be advising to you. I say advising to you, these are all under your own choice, right? I'm suggesting horses because I fancy them. I feel like I put the groundwork in there. I will be advising my stakes. I will be advising the price that I'm backing them at. But of course, it is all up to you. So please do gamble responsibly. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And please do comment the below with what your best bet is for day one. So mine comes in the first race, the 340. It's a mare's novice's hurdle. And I have touched on before how trusted mares can be. Um, a little bit of a risky proposition. However, night and day for Willie Mullins, Paul Town then jumps back on board. I had her run in like comfortably as a good, good 130s horse on her winning debut. Um, I think you can excuse the last run, or at least you'd have to excuse the last run. I thought she might be a bit shorter than the 7 to 2 that she's available at now. I have backed her at 4 to 1 on Coral with 50 quid, so 50 pound on night and day. I was semi tempted to have a little bit more on. It's the start of the week. I know. You it shouldn't make a difference how many more bets you're going to have, but I just didn't want to get overly excited because sometimes the enthusiasm's in there. So I think night and day wins the opener, the 340. So like I said, I've had 50 on her. The 450, it's a handicap hurdle. I'm following one that I backed at Cheltenham, which is to KL for Willie Mullins again. Um, you'll notice a theme with Willie Mullins' horses as the week goes on, but he is the master trainer, as it is. And he smashes up at, at, at Punchers Town. He smashes up everywhere, doesn't he? But to KL was... Just so bad at Cheltenham, like wasn't himself. And I say himself, we don't really know. He's only a four-year-old, but was really keen, was bucking and kicking and all that sort of stuff. And just just never ran a race. I, I do believe he's much better than his mark. He is a four-year-old in these handicaps. They do get a weight for age allowance in here. They do need that weight for age allowance. Typically, I would be against four-year-olds in these types of races. But I like Simon Torrens as a jockey. Um, it, it, it may be that they've got another race down the line for this horse, whether there's something in the summer that they may be thinking about. But he's about a six-to-one poke. I can see him running well. And I feel like if they try to get him to run well and he misbehaves like he did at Shelton, then, then well, you might better get your money back another day. So I've had £25 into KO at six-to-one in the 450. Third bet comes in the race... Uh, a couple after, oh, sorry, a few after, 6.35, it's the Champion Novices Chase. Pretty good looking race, to be fair with you, reasonably competitive. Um, you could make a bit of a case for a few of them. I mean, you could probably make a bit of a case for all of them, to be honest with you, but there are some flaws with each horse in the race too. So I've <clears throat> kind of landed on Ferronelli for Emmett Mullins and Donna Myler. It was a 10 to 1 poke when I backed him, I had £25 to win at 10 to 1. Um, I just think that, appreciate we don't definitely know that he wants the three miles. Uh, classic getaway has been a bit disappointing and you don't really 100% know how fully wound up he's going to be. He's had his issues over the time, hasn't he? James DeBerle has been disappointing since an OK run at the beginning of the season. And Journey with me is probably the deserved favourite in here, but would need to step up to win an ordinary grade one because his last win was a grade three. Um, can see why he could be fancy, but... I'm not convinced he is a proper grade one horse just yet. And so Gerhard, I'm not 100% sure he really does stay. He doesn't jump very well. So Ferronelli just looked the wrong price to me, which is why I've had the £25 on it. So it's less a form-based decision, more that there is enough form to suggest that he could run at least to the numbers of these horses in here, yet he was a rank outsider. So back for Ferronelli, he would be one that obviously if he did shorten up, I would suggest just leaving him alone. So anything under, probably under 8-1, to one, I would be tempted to leave. There's not that much in it. Maybe eight's a little bit short, but I don't know, six to one or something like that. But just, just be careful with that because it is a price-only bet. But they're the three fancies I've got for day one. I'll be back for the rest of the week with every bet that I'm putting on. I will always tell you my stakes. So again, make sure you like that video. Please do subscribe to the channel and comment below if there's anything you fancy. Be lucky.